right, so we finished the leaf springs and got those in, finished putting in the rear shocks, got those in, good to go there, um, good to go here. Next, what we're gonna do, and what I tried doing, is starting to take off the exhaust manifold. So that way we can put on the exhaust system, which is in here. Um, got a nice magna flow. I think two and a half or two inch magna flow pipes. Um, but anyways, I started by taking the bolt out of the exhaust manifold down there. That was pretty difficult, had to hit it with some PB blaster. Did that last night though, it was good. Cleaned it up, just to kind of see what I was working with. And here it is, it's pretty, just looks very old. But the part that was actually in the manifold um, looks pretty good. So I'm gonna reuse all that, uh, don't need to get rid of it. And then I couldn't get the other side off and I saw him let it sit overnight with like a ton of PB blaster. And then I went out because I ran out of butane for my torch, I decided to upgrade a little bit to a bigger torch. So. I got this utility benzomatic like torch, propane torch. So yeah, we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna heat the bolt, see if I can get it off that way, and then take the exhaust manifold, take out the exhaust and put on the new exhaust. So let's give it a go. So I ended up getting the exhaust manifold off the left side, uh, and this is what was left of the gasket. I knew I had some exhaust leaks based on the carbon that I was seeing come out uh, of the top of the manifold and on the sides on some of the spots. So what I'm gonna do, man, look at that sucker. Oldie goldie, gross, that is nasty so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and clean this up i don't know it's cast iron so it's super heavy and uh yeah we'll see for Mo ford motor company foam foam co fomo foam co um yeah here's the bolts they actually came out fairly easily so yeah this is good anyways oh, let's try and clean it up a little bit before we put it back on i'm gonna repaint it too with high temp paint So I ended up having to cut out the old exhaust in order to get everything unbolted. It was pretty much a pain to get it unbolted from the uh, the manifold, but I cut it out, got it, and yucky yucky. As you can see, it was in rough shape. There's a lot of holes in the exhaust, and uh, yeah, very rusty, very gross, but that's what it looks like. Lots and lots of holes in the muffler. And I just cleaned up all the bolts repainted everything, um, you know, tried to clean it up as much as possible. And I got the new stuff unboxed pretty much or kind of taking a look. I got all these, uh, these little muffler clamps here. I think there's eight of them in here. Then I've got these universal hangers. Uh, and then I got these for the, uh, the pipes going into the manifold. I have not done an exhaust system yet. So this is a first, but it shouldn't be too hard. Um, just it's supposed to bolt up and if I have to weld it, I'll weld it. So not a big deal. All right. So I ended up having to get some new exhaust manifold bolts. Uh, as you can see, this is the old bolt. I don't know how close we can get, but it is, the threads are gone. It's like rusted out. So these were all threads and they're gone. Looking pretty grody. It's really hard to thread in. 
So I ended up just ordering a new set. Two of the bolts, one on each side, uh, are seized and frozen in, and I could not break them free at all. I tried everything. Uh, even broke my, my vice. Even broke my vice trying to do it right here, as you can see. No bueno. See? I couldn't even get this bolt off of the old one. I had to cut it, and it still is seized. So I used a torch, everything. Could not get it off. So what I did is I spent $14 or 18 bucks or whatever it was and bought a new set of bolts. The only issue is these are supposed to be for a 302. I don't know if you can see this, but these bolts, the new bolts are a little bit shorter than the old bolts. So I'm hoping that doesn't mess anything up, but yeah, TBD on that, we'll see. For now, I'm gonna try and get these things installed and uh, try at least to get the H pipe like fitted up in and bolted on and then go from there with the rest of the exhaust. So I'm gonna do a GT style valence. So as you can see, I've got the, the holes here, new valence and got the holes for that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna run like the GT style exhaust cause I love it. That's always been like a favorite thing of mine since I was like a kid. I would just love the look of the exhaust coming out the back of the car. Yeah, it just looks more classy and classic coming out the back. So I basically ended up tying everything together. I had to do some cutting uh, just to get everything to fit, but I basically got that piece in that's holding up everything. Uh, everything's pretty secure and solid. I ended up cutting this piece. This was already in here from the last dual exhaust, but I cut it down and then put a, you know, a, uh, a clamp right here, which I had to cut down as well so I could clamp everything together with how they were. But I'm trying not to touch anything. I'm probably gonna end up pulling the fuel line up a little bit because I don't like it being that close um, to the exhaust because it's gonna get hot and that's not good. So I gotta figure out something for that. Maybe I'll wrap it, I don't know, or put some foil tape or something around it. Yeah, then I'll have to run it out the back pretty high so that the GT valence it basically comes out right here where this piece is for the bumper uh, or the uh, bumper guard. So I'm going to pull this little mount out, being that we're not doing bumper guards, so I don't really need it. And that way I can just mount the, the, uh, the GT valence up. And so I gotta pull this out, pull that one out. And then I got to, we may have to put some extra pipe on here to get it to extend. Uh, Cause the one that I've got is only six inches and I don't know if it'll cover that. So we may have to get a little bit more, weld that in or put it in and then, yeah, figure that out from there. So yeah, pulling that out now first, which I'm doing from here. There's one, and there's two, and there we go. And now 
we're out. The mount is out. Here it goes. I hooked all the spark plug wires back up again and uh, got my portable gas tank going. Let's see how everything sounds. Let's start this bad boy up. Yeah, fingers crossed we're not. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Hell yeah. Love that. Oh my God. I know that the GoPro camera won't do it justice, but that sounds good. Good glass pack vibes. Oh man. Let's see if we'll kick into idle here. Yeah. Louise. Okay, lots of smoke in here. And I think it's because of the new exhaust. I can smell it like burning in. Also gotta figure out some sort of solution for this cap right here because uh, the condensation, I don't have any blow by coming out, but the condensation from the pressure of the, the smoke coming out of there um, is making a lot of like oily condensation that's dripping down and hitting the manifold. So. If anyone has any suggestions, I guess I could go to a closed PCV setup. Don't necessarily want to do that. I guess I could also put a catch can there. Anyways, let me know your suggestions. That would be super helpful. Okay, I'm digging it. Hope y'all like this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also set your bell notifications so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank y'all so much for following along on this build journey. We're almost there. New exhaust sounds great. Once again, thank y'all so much and stay tuned for the next video. See y'all soon, bye.